Good morning. Starting this day off with some breakfast. Making a salmon patty with two eggs. So I just picked up this blender bottle, literally, at Marshall's. And it was only like seven eighty-five or something like that. And it has the uh, double stack, I don't know what they're called, but pro stack, I guess. But they're so nice, it's like the best thing I've ever bought. So, so great. Anywhere I go, I'm carrying so much stuff. Look at this. Like, I have a drill. Like, come on. This guy has so much stuff right now. Oh. So last week, Angel made the decision to get baptized. And tonight at the Jordan, that's what he's doing. That's what's going down. So I'm really excited for him. It's going to be great. I just uh, came to Guahomi to trade cars with my mother. Um, she wants me to get hay for her, so I'm taking her truck. And there's her school. <laughs> I just got the hay and I fit 10 bales in the back of the truck. It's kind of scary because you can feel like the weight difference of the truck pulling all this weight. And it's stacked pretty high, so <laughs> it's kind of scary. We got a package. Whoop. I love opening packages, <laughs> even though I already know what's in them. It's still fun to open them. I'm actually really excited for this one. Um, I've needed one of these puppies for a long time. Especially when I'm short. This should be fantastic. I won't have to steal ratings anymore. <laughs> I'll find this one's a little bit different than hers. Ah! Check it out. Alright, let me open it. It's a spiky ball acupressure. So it's like a, 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 a roller, but it's in ball form and it's spiky. Yeah, so, kind of like it, but not at all at the same time. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. It's gonna hurt real bad, but it's gonna feel so good. I have to change out of these clothes so I can go do that hay. Gotta load it into the into the shed. Woo! It's snack time. Uh, we got granola, chia seeds, honey, and milk. Got a freshly picked strawberry from my garden over there. Not mine. It's uh, my parents, also mine. You know, we all help out. But if anybody knows, like, an organic, like, kind of pesticide thing, can you let me know about it in the comment section? Because the stupid roly polies keep eating these strawberries. So you have to pick them, like, when they're, like, just before they're ripe, or else they get them and eat them. So, kind of stings. Yes, I am wearing chaps. Uh, they help me with, like, when I'm loading or moving the hay around, uh, the hay tends to cut you because it's like dried grass. So the chaps, leather chaps, protect my shins from getting cut up. Uh, they really burn when it cuts, it sucks. <laughs> Gotta feed the chickens. I just woke up from a nap, as you can see. I need a shower and get ready. So here we go. Clean shave, now we're ready for the jake. <laughs> because I didn't get lunches like that, all right? 
partly like when my when I lived with my mom, like I didn't get lunch. When I lived with my dad, he gave me like lunch money and like sent me out the door. And he was still sleeping anyway. He didn't get up with me, but I got I got dad issues. So, but don't we all, you know? So, uh, so anyway, so my, my like, but when my when I was living with my mom for a while when I was little, she would she would make she would make me lunch. But it was like you get like a peanut butter and jelly. And then, um, and then you would get like maybe, maybe some ruffles in a plastic bag, like some, like just the plain, not, not like, not sour cream and onion, not Doritos, not just like some plain potato chips. And then, and then she put milk in a thermos and like a nice old plastic He-Man thermos where you get milk. And my kids get Capri Suns and stuff, right? Again, jealous. So, so I get that. And then, and then like, you know, some kids would get like ding dongs or like, you know, or like Twinkies or something. I get a little red box. Nature's candy. Mm. <laughs> it's a trick. <laughs> it's not candy. And the thing is, like, it's that little red box. It has the lady on there. It says something like sun made or whatever. And she's got a funny hat on and like just something in front of her. And the, the thing, the thing with raisins is that every, kids aren't tripped. They know that it's like a, it's some sort of like fruit supposed to be good for you or something. And so I remember getting these raisins. I'd eat these raisins, but I remember figuring out the raisins didn't grow as raisins. That they were actually yes. My, my, my mind was blown. Was anybody else like almost surprised? Like oh, like completely almost detriment to their childhood when they found out. That raisins weren't just raisins, that they were actually grapes. It's blown away. Those were actually good. At one point, those little things in the little red box were, were grapes. That there was such an interesting transformation from being grapes to being raisins, and then they're called nature's candy. Lie. <laughs> and then, and then as, I, as, 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 I, as I grew older, I found out that other things that I thought were other things were actually like other things, such as when I found out the prunes, not that I eat a lot of prunes, all oh, prunes are kind of good, don't eat a lot, just telling you, whoa, you know, like, that'll change your day. So, so prune, prunes are not actually prunes, prunes are plums, yes, some of you, now some of you guys in here, you don't need to, yeah, see, some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, that's a revelation, you learn something new every week at the Jordan people, I'm telling you, the deeper truths of scripture right there. So, <laughs> I'm surprised, what a surprise that was to some of you. Like, you guys are blown away. You're like, oh my gosh. You wrote that down in your notes. So, so, plums become prunes. Okay, now the biggest surprise to me though, as a, as, as a child growing up, now I have to admit this probably wasn't until like I was in fifth grade, maybe even middle school, okay? I don't like either of them, so it's like it's not like I like. Oh, I love these cucumbers. Like cucumbers are gross. <laughs> Unless you maybe pour a bunch of salt and dip them in ranch and blue cheese and stuff, and then, then as long as you can't taste the cucumber, they're good. <laughs> My wife loves them, but I didn't. I had no clue that those like that, that those cucumbers would become like when you stuck them in something, pickles. That they would become these weird kind of sour like war looking morphed things that had a, like an odd crunch to them. I, I, had, I had no clue, blew my mind, blew my mind that there was such a transformation that would take place in the whole pickling process. Now I know that like when people like to pickle stuff, they get all these jars and they stick things in there and they stick ingredients and they stick stuff and it changes, it changes the, the essence of what they are. Now the funny thing about pickles, now listen to this, the funny thing about pickles is if you go away, they've been, people have been making pickles for centuries, for millennia. They've been doing it for thousands and thousands of years. And if you go back to the, like some of the original pickle recipes, unless you maybe pour a bunch of salt and dip them in ranch and blue cheese and stuff, and then as long as you can't taste the cucumber, they're good. My wife loves them. But I didn't, I had no clue that those like, that, that those cucumbers would become, like when you stuck them in something, pickles. That they would become these weird kind of sour, like, war-looking morphed things that had a, like an odd crunch to them. 
I, I, had, I had no clue, blew my mind, blew my mind that there was such a transformation that would take place in the whole pickling process. Now I know that like, when people like to pickle stuff, they get all these jars and they stick things in there and they stick ingredients and they stick stuff, and it changes, it changes the, the essence of what they are. Now the funny thing about pickles, now listen to this, the funny thing about pickles is if you go away, they've been, people have been making pickles for centuries, for millennia. They've been doing it for thousands and thousands of years. And if you go back to the, like some of the original pickle recipes, you know what the word they use for pickle is? Baptismo. Yeah, blew your mind right there, didn't I? Baptismo, which is basically, which is basically, it's a submersion that causes drastic change if we get back into the Hebrew and all the, the deepness of it all. So you would, you would have the original where baptism was used for pickling recipes. Tonight, some of you guys are gonna get pickled. <laughs>